All this week, we've been sharing stories from various homeowners who are still trying to dry out from all this weekend's water damage. And East Valley woman among them. 8 News Now weather reporter Mary Jane Belli as it takes us to a home at the Pueblo del Sol mobile community right near Nellis in Boulder Highway. It's okay. Kamisha Jackson is left to pick up the pieces after rushing water knocked over her backyard wall, flooding her house. I mean, the brick fell forward. My son flew through the hallway. Uh, I, I landed on my shoulder. My husband's car was parked there, but he was able to drive it out. But the bricks fell and it's it's total. The intensity of the floodwaters were so strong that it pushed her house at least two feet away from the entry stairs. I had to pass my kids to their dad with all this water just flowing. Yeah, it was it was traumatic. The family only moved into their new home a month ago. We moved here to try to get a more you know, affordable living, a nice house, a yard for our kids. And we did that. And for this to happen, it was just like unbelievable. The house is considered too dangerous for anyone to go inside. A management, you know, they said they would. Uh, this is, you know, catastrophic. So it's a tremendous loss. My house is the worst. So they, they have put us in a hotel room. Jackson and her family lack basic necessities. They grabbed only what they could carry. Um, just food, clothes, socks. But I can't find socks, shoes. We just had flip-flops. We, we are just at a loss. Jackson says she's unsure how long this will take to clean up, but is grateful for any help. Take this as a lesson learned. Please get renter's insurance, get homeowner's insurance, because at the end of the day, that's what's going to keep your family protected to, to recover from this law. Jackson says Pueblo del Sol management is working to temporarily place her family in another home.